A Wilson mother is turning to her community for answers after someone shot and killed her son back in December. As CBS 17's Mariah Ellis reports, she joined family and neighbors in a personal mission seeking closure and justice. I met up with Charday Sessoms, her friends and her family as they've been passing out these flyers to neighbors hoping for more answers. She says that her son was shot and killed walking back from a friend's house in this neighborhood. Home after home, neighbor after neighbor. Charday Sessoms can't help but search for answers. Just having a child that you had for 16 years and now you have to wake up every morning, go to sleep at night thinking about them and their hurt, heartbreak. Sessoms joined friends and family to pass out flyers Sunday afternoon. She told me it's been two months now since she lost her 16-year-old son, Jaquez Fleming, a junior at Bedingfield High School. He loved football and was just a month away from celebrating his next birthday. She told me she and others started looking for her son after getting a message from a friend who asked if Jacquez made it home the night of December 16th. At that moment, she knew something was wrong. As soon as I got the message, I came out because I know that he, he don't go anywhere other than home, his friend's house. She and Jacquez's father pointed to the area near Minshew Street where Wilson police found Jacquez later that night with a gunshot wound. He was taken to the hospital where he later died. Reminder every day that he ain't here no more. Like, you can't call him, see him. The family says weeks have passed, but the pain hasn't gone away. It's why Sesums and others continue to knock on doors, handing out flyers, hoping a reward may bring some answers. Being that we can't bring them back, I mean, it'll be some type of closure, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't heal our hearts. It may heal the mind a little bit just by somebody taking taking ownership of the crime that they did. We reached out to Wilson police who tell us that they are still searching for possible suspects. This is still an ongoing investigation. And Wilson Mariah Ellis, CBS 17 News.